Hello everybody, Ross Martin here to show you the Arduino Rain Song uh, performance system. Um, this is a project I've been working on for some time. A lot of you have heard about it from me. Uh, for those of you who need an orientation, let me walk you around real quick. Okay, first of all, um, let's just start with the brains of the whole thing. This is the Arduino stack that I've got. It's inside the guitar, it's outside so I can show it to you. But it is uh, an Arduino that I'm actually swapping out because it just came today, swapping out for an Arduino Mega because I'm running out of memory um, to run all of the cues that I need to do. The whole point of this thing is to be able to run light and uh, audio cues from my guitar on the stage so I can do this, my one guitar show, this one solo performance musical that I do um, as a truly one person show where I can walk in, set it up within an hour and a half, um, maybe even less, and then um, uh, be, be live, do the performance, and run everything by myself without needing a tech person behind me. When I usually do this show, I need a couple of people doing lights and sound for me, and then lots of folks just to help um, get it set up and everything, because it takes a long time. And now I'm really making it so it's ultra portable, and here's how it all works. So we've got the Arduino um, at the bottom, then an MP3 player that can be triggered with the button that I'll show you. Um, this is just the wiring to jump things and also to uh, send to DMX and to um, others, so this is the DMX player. That is the standard that runs lights and sound. You can see this is the little wireless, that little red light, flashing light says that it's sending signal out. And then the top thing is a battery pack. So that's the uh, energy shield uh, from uh, uh, night, uh, Nightshade. Uh, so energy, this is an energy shield Pro 2 or 2 Pro, but I'm not using all the Pro stuff. I'm just using it as a battery basically. Um, this one is a Tinker uh, DMX. Uh, simple DMX, and this one is from uh, Adafruit, and of course the one is from Arduino. So um, it's connected to my computer right now just because I want to be able to show you guys the code, and um, so this is just, take my word for it, it's just a bunch of code that, that triggers the lights and sound um, using the different libraries from Adafruit and from, from Tinker. Um, this is my little monitor to show that it's um, waiting for a button, and here is the button actually twice. I've got a button so I can unplug it and, and test it. But also on the guitar, I've installed this button right here, and at which will which will trigger stuff. And like if I do if I do it now, it's going to fade the music and go into the next part of the show um, uh, of the pre of the pre-show uh, information. Actually, it's, I think it's waiting for a button right now. I'm not going to do that just just yet because I want to show you some other stuff and then I'm going to reset it. This is my train station bench, and I built it uh, for the show, and now I put, I'm gonna paint these black, but I put uh, little, uh, little latches on it so I can fold it up, and it's got, now it's all hinged up, so it folds up and it actually goes in a bag that I sewed together. Yes, I know how to sew. My mom taught me because she's a good lady. These are the lights that um, go against the back wall, and this is the Bose L1. Um, tower. So the great thing about the bows is it takes literally about 60 seconds to put together, unzip, put, stack these things on it. I put one plug into it and that goes from, or that, that comes from, this little box. Now this box I built so that I could, again, pack it up, just unplug it from the wall, unplug it from the bows, put all the cables in there and pack it up and be ready for the next show with no other um, work. So all this stuff is Velcroed down. It's got cushions in the, in the case so that it can, it can be um, transported safely. Um, so what I have here is, this is my guitar, which I don't have plugged in right now. Um, this is the left channel, which runs all of the audio um, that will be, be shown. That's on the, uh, uh, the all the audio uh, mix. And then the, so it's mono, because the right channel is used to send to this little box, the Perfect Storm 2.0, got it from Amazon for, I don't know, 25 bucks maybe. And then you put in sound and it and it puts out lights. So if I unplug it right now, it's gonna go, hey, 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 hey. See, it'll, it'll make this tree of lights go off. And I've got this, you know, four utility lights on a little stand. Now, um, the other thing is I've got the, my little headset. It's a little whisper mic, it's a journeyman. No, excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry, not journeyman. It's a um, countryman. Countryman uh, H6, I think. And then this goes to a Shure uh, receiver and a body pack that I wear. Um, so then we just have this stack of lights, these four lights um, on, this, on this tree. And what I've done is I've made little um, 
cloth uh, connectors for it all so I can take it all apart without really dismantling it all because it all goes in this custom made box that I built so that I can unfold it and kind of, you know, like a, like a, like a chain or like a, a cane that um, unstraps, you know, that's got a bungee inside it and just you can quickly assemble it back together. So what used to take me a couple of hours to set up for lights, I can do in about 12 minutes so far, and I'm sure I can get faster to that too. And then the last thing that's optional is just this subwoofer woofer over here if I really wanna make it uh, crazy sounding in terms of the thunder and lightning, but I don't have to do that. So let's just see what it, what it, what it does here. Oh, and, and uh, um, these are the two left and right wireless out um, from the guitar. The last thing you can't see um, I can't really get you a light. I don't have a light. I can't turn on my light while I'm doing this, but inside there's a tone wood amp um, and that um, adds tremolo and reverb and other presence to the guitar. Um, I'm working with uh, tone wood. They're going to eventually, they can't, I can't get it ready for this show, but they're going to send me a little program to be able to trigger the, um, the tone wood from my Arduino to tell it to change profiles, to change some of the settings. So in certain songs, I want one thing or another, it'll make it sound different every time. And that will be really cool that I can control that. Okay, so just to give you a sense of how this all works, I just hit the reset button, now it's ready to go. It's waiting for a cue, it says, um, it says waiting for button. And then when I press a button, it'll say, oh, button detected. It's gonna start testing. So it runs through and, and checks all the lights. You can hear the audio in the background. You can see the lightning going up. You can see that the, the backwash, so those, wa those lights uh, wash the wall with light. And you can change those, of course, as well. Oh, and those are my black lights, and that's for a special effect at the end. And then a big crash at the end. Boom, so all cool stuff. Then the lights go through a little routine, and they say, okay, we've done our stuff. We're good to go. And it's finishing the test. This is how the show looks. That's pretty much it. And then you do, then you do the show. And we rock out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the show. August 2nd and 3rd at the Function Theater in North Baltimore. Please look at MissRainSong.com to get your tickets. And they're free. Can you believe it? Free tickets to see this amazing show. Two acts of uh, original music and a story that you won't believe. Come have a magical moment with me for free. Bye.